Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the Galaxy Games 843's channel and today we're going to do a quick video about uh, making a brand new Pac-Man arcade bezel and a lot of times when you pick up a Pac-Man, it's used and of course it's almost 40 years old now, the bezel will be f like bubbly or it'll be falling apart, it'll be the, the paint will be chipped off because it's actually silk screened onto the glass. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to recreate one today using a piece of glass that I had cut at Lowe's and a reproduction um, piece of artwork that we're going to use here that I got. Um, actually, I got this in a bulk load of parts, but you can get them online at different uh, websites. We'll actually reverse print them or regular print them for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the glass and then we're going to apply this bezel to the glass. So let's do that. Some of these edges might be sharp when you have um, Lowe's cut the glass for you, so you know, use caution when you're, when you're opening this up. I know I'm making a big mess here, but that's okay. We're going to clear all this out of the way, so let me just kind of pick this up. And this is very thin glass, so you're going to want to be very careful with this glass. I think the, glass, the piece of glass was probably like $11. No, it was I like to have a clean work area when I'm working, so let me get this out of the way. All right, so here we are. We got a piece of glass, and we're going to put the artwork underneath it. Now, this is reverse printed, so that means it's, in the long run, it's going to go under the glass. So first, we've got to make sure that our measurements are right. So that's the whole thing. It's that way. Okay. Next thing we want to do is we want to clean the glass before we apply. So let me get some glass cleaner, get some paper towels. I'm running low on paper towels. You know, uh, we're trying to stay home. I know I know. I went out and uh, serviced my vending machines in the last video. Um, but we're trying to stay home, so i got to check and see how I'm doing on paper towel stock. Comment down below, are you guys having trouble finding paper towels and toilet paper and different household supplies during this whole uh, virus thing going on? Let me know. Let me know in the comments what, how, how things are going for you. I know it's tough to see this white table in the, in the piece of glass, but I'm just giving it a thorough wipe down with some glass cleaner so that way we'll be able to not have any marks or fingerprints or anything under our under our artwork. There we go. Just about there. Now I'm actually going to go grab a rag or a towel or something because I've got a couple shop racks. I don't know if, if you noticed when I was working, everything had just kept spinning and moving around. So I want to kind of try and eliminate anything moving around. So I'm going to put these under the glass. And that should help it from moving around. Just typical shop rags I'm using here. There we go. That should help it from moving around. So now typically when we're going to apply artwork, there's a pre-mask 
and a backing piece. This one doesn't have the backing piece, so we are literally gonna have to peel it, stick it, and kind of work with it. It's gonna be challenging. So, I'm debating on whether I should use the wet method. So there's two ways to do it. You can use the wet method where you put down some sort of uh, liquid, and I think we're gonna do that since we don't have the, the, the backing. Uh, let me see what we got here. Hold on. All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna try with the wet the wet method. We're gonna use some rapid tack. So this is a cleaner and application fluid. So this is made for doing this kind of work. You know, some people can get away with using water with a couple drops of dish soap in it, um, but this is actually what is made for this kind of work that we're doing right now. So we're gonna we're gonna use the rapid tack. And what we're gonna do for that, we're just gonna spray it. Not not real heavy, just a you know kind of a mist around the area that we're going to be working in here. Okay, that should be good. All right, so now that we got that on, what we're going to do is we're going to peel our artwork here, and then we're going to set it in place. So here we go. Try not to let it stick to itself, being that it's got a hole in the middle of it. It's a little bit more challenging, obviously. Not to rip it or stretch it or let it stick to itself. This is the this is the frustrating part here, guys. All right, we got it off of the backing end and, and it's sticking to itself, of course. Peel that away without making a big mark. There we go. All right, we got it peeled away. All right, so now what I'm going to do. Not going well, guys. This is why this is why we do what we do very carefully. There we go. Okay, got it all unstuck. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set it here on the glass, real gently. Now, because we got the rapid tack, we can we can reposition and move it around. Let's see if we can make sure the camera is showing everything we're doing here good. There we go. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of things up and set them where we think they should be. Okay, we got that side kind of in place. Let's redo this side up here. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. All right, almost there. And then we're going to start smoothing bubbles out. And we still got some some ripples up here. We're going to try and make those better. Okay, uh, I don't like this side. This side has some ripples on it too that I don't like. Okay, now we're pretty much in place. And now what we're going to do, remember this tool, we used it on our Pac-Man stencils. We're gonna use it on this too. So we're just gonna start smoothing things out. And you can see, if you watch real close along the edges, that rapid tack is gonna come out. And that's exactly what we want it to do. We want that liquid to come out now. So I'm gonna start going around the center here, pushing all the wrap attack out from under the artwork. There we go. Let me move on to the other side here. more of that rapid tack. That's exactly what we want it to do. We want it to come out from under the artwork now. And 
while we're doing this too, let's, let's use some of those paper towels we used. Let's go around and kind of pick up some of that extra wrapping tack that came out from under there because now it's still going to be a little, a little damp underneath, but we want it to dry. Once all this wrapping tack dries, or actually it's, it's pushed out and the adhesive has a good chance to adhere and dry, then we're going to have a nice clean bezel here. And that's the whole point of this. Because we want it to look good on the machine, right? All right, we're just about there. We are just about there. It's not perfect, but once it's on the machine, because this artwork is under the glass and not on top of it, it's gonna look really good. Especially once it's on the machine. These little corners right here just don't want to lay down. And that's part of it is because of the rapid tack. The rapid tack does, you know, keep it damp. And once it dries out, it'll be much better. Along those edges, especially. All right. Let's flip it over and let's have a look and see how it looks. Oh, yeah, guys. Look at that. How awesome does that look? That looks really good. Now, of course, it's, the artwork is a little bit bigger than the glass, so I'm going to have to trim the edges down here on the bottom um, and all around, but I am very pleased with how that turned out. That looks great. Let's give this a quick wipe down on the outside here. Now, I do see a bubble over here on this side, so here's what we'll do. This side looks good. Let's see if we can't just... Can we get it on camera here? Let's, let me go, let me go around to this side. So we have a bubble right here. So all I'm gonna do is just kind of try to push this bubble out. There we go. Came right out. All I'm doing is pushing the air. And that's one of the reasons why the wrap attack is really good in this case. Um, so you can get wrap attack online. Um, I think I got it off Amazon. Um, I can, uh, what I'll do is I'll put the link down below in the, in the description for the wrap attack. So if you need some wrap attack, here's where you can get it on Amazon, uh, down in the, the, down in the description. It's been one of those days. All right, guys. So that is going to be it. So, uh, what I would do from here is I would, I would let it dry for at least, you know, overnight, 24 hours or so. Then I would trim the edges for any excess, um, overhang around the glass edges. And then you should be ready to go. Give it one more good cleaning and that should be it. So guys, um, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you found this information helpful. Um, we've been doing all kinds of work on Pac-Man machines. Um, I finished the one in the previous video and I've got another one I'm working on now. And that's why I wanted to share this little tip with how to do a Pac-Man bezel. Because a lot of them out there, um, the cabinets you'll pick up either won't have bezels or they'll be scratched up or they'll be bubbly or flaky. And you know, you can try all day to try and match that paint. but. This, in my opinion, you know, even though it's reproduction artwork, it looks really, really good because it's done under the glass and not on top. So if you have questions, drop them down in the comments. Um, you know, we're, we're doing all kinds of different videos right now while we're staying home. So uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to watch our video. I hope you found it helpful. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Click that bell notification so that way you're always notified when our new videos go live. Give us a thumbs up share our videos, and comment down below, guys. Thanks so much for watching. This is Matt with the Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.